so this game is called File Destined. I don't know what it's about, but it looks pretty good. It's not a new game. My title is a complete lie. It's not a new video game. I think it's been out for maybe six months or a year or something like that, but it looks kind of spooky. Uh, I don't have a username password. Don't tell me I actually need this, do I? There's a note upward. Oh, oh, you're right. There's a note right here. ID Oliver Hamilton, password JPM1121. Oh, let's try that. Oliver Hamilton. No, not Hamilton. JPM1121. It works. I'm in. Okay, so we are Oliver Hamilton. Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome to the crime scene simulation, Oliver. Simulation? Thanks for stating the obvious, Liz. I will be helping you throughout the simulation. The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. Whoa. You won't get hurt in any ways, and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. Okay, so I can walk around? <laughs> are you sure I won't get hurt, Liz? The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways, and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. That's kind of nice, actually, right? Jeez, I was just kidding, Liz. Relax. Thanks to our advanced technology, we are able to solve unsolved murders by simulating the crime scene. She sounds like a robot. Is she a robot, chat? Uh, hey, Liz? Yes, Oliver. Let's just determine a safe word for us just in case, okay? Look, um, I don't know. Teddy bear? Teddy bear is our safe okay, word. Oliver. Teddy bear it is. Thank you. I'm now simulating the file assigned to you to solve your mystery of the murder. The file D. The file D. And we have a safe word, teddy bear. This is kind of cool. And then we just like you may have warp to in. Closely to see some details. So chat, if anything bad happens, just yell teddy bear in the chat, okay? We need to see it. Okay, so we can zoom. Congratulations. You now know how to see details. That's how our eyes work. There may be some evidences behind closed doors, in drawers or cabinets. You have to make sure you check everywhere for the evidence. Copy that. Also, I have left a present in the drawer for you. Uh, I can interact with this. What's this? Evidence bag, a package used to properly store evidence. There are lots of these around. So I don't want to open it for some reason. Press E to open the drawer. So maybe I can open this drawer here. Good. Looks like you opened the drawer. Super easy. There should be a lighter there for you to examine. I don't... Really? Please Where? Please take the lighter to inspect. Where? Where? I don't... I don't... I do not see... A, oh... I this see it now. like an object of evidence. You should carefully examine the objects of evidence. Oh, that's kind of cool. On the right-hand side there, it says, Find the clue. The engravings on top of it hints that it belongs to Oliver Hamilton, which is us, right? Ohio Police Department? Congratulations. I'm adding this item to your inventory now for you to use. That's great. This is my lighter. Feels good to have something of my own here. Remember, if you turn too fast or if you keep it burning for a long time, it may leave you in the dark. Okay. We have a lighter. Also, this is great. You can see the evidences you found and take a look at them again, just in case you miss something. This is a bit of a weird doctor's office, right? Like, it almost looks like we're in like a torture dungeon or like somebody's garage. There's literally an axe right here. In case you couldn't see it, it's right there. <laughs> I got the ultra zoom. Okay, inventory. I. Yep, I see. We have an evidence tab. Lastly, items. You can take a look at journal. The notes you took and review your thoughts on the events here. J for journal. We are ready to be begin now. No. Hey, Liz. Are you there? Liz. Are you there? Shit, shit. I was just kidding, Oliver. <laughs> you got me. This She's got time. a sense of humor, I see. Uh, let's get this over with. I agree. Can I go through here now? Yes, I can. It says, do not cross. We don't play by the rules. We make the rules. All right. So what are we looking for exactly? The it's locked. Must be somewhere around here. Okay. Our first task, find the key. There's a bunch of crap, but I don't think I need to look at every single thing. I get it, right? Although this says help. That's probably, but it's written from this side in as if somebody was locked in here, maybe? Probably not a good sign. A whole... I mean, are we playing Outlast now? What is all this crap? Is there a key? What is this? Insignificant, it says. Um, wait a minute. Wait. Drawer? 
I'm looking. I see nothing. It's not just my eyes. There's literally nothing in there. Do I check all the drawers? Oh my god, there's so many drawers. Wait, what's this? A bandage. I can't take it with me, so does that mean we cannot get injured? Surely I don't need scissors, right? No, no. Insignificant. I'm lost already. We've barely even begun. Wait, whoa, whoa. whoa. Um, Just need to find some gas. Lighter for you? Can I? Lighter gas. Um, Add to inventory. Okay. Is that for our lighter? We have cigarettes. cigarettes. An old brand from the look of it. Okay. Um, I, Nothing else is helpful. I'm keeping an eye on my lighter. Making sure it doesn't go out. Locked. Uh, locked. Um, okay, the lighter did go out. Wait. Lighter? Lighter? Okay, hold on. Maybe do we have to fuel the lighter? Because I have to refill. Okay, there we go. That was easy. And now I can do it again. Ah, perfect. This place is filthy. It's absolutely filthy. And they expect me to go around here. And this is a simulation. They couldn't even clean up the place beforehand. We have the toilet. What's in here? Um. Evidence bag. Of course, the cops weren't able to find anything useful. There's syringes on the ground. Disgusting. I can't get in these stalls. It's occupied. Wait, wait. Health? I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Can't use it. Can't even take it. And this door is not working, not operable. So where's this key, you know? Look at this teddy bear. What's it infected with? Who put the syringe in the... Teddy bear! Teddy bear! <laughs> oh, shit, the teddy bear needs the code word, too. Oh, shit, did I get ready to go down here? Wait, how did I... Mate, Mother Clucker, was this the hallway you're talking about that I might have missed? How did I miss this? Was this a change... Hold on, did this hallway change on us, or is this always like this? Insignificant. Unlock. Mm, must be something that I'm missing. You mean like this key right here? No, clearly not. It said room 34 on it, so let's leave. Let's go find room 34. Now we finally have a key. Are the rooms numbered by any chance? Is oh. anyone there? Don't like that. Okay. Hello? This must be room 34. Insignificant. What is this? Bullets, evidence. Let's look around. Um, rotate it. There should also be a gun somewhere around here. The gun can reveal the case to its entirety. This is the murder bullet. weapon. It's in multiple firearms. The gun that was used may not be far from here. I wonder if it's in that case that we found that was locked. There's another teddy bear. teddy bear. Damn. Cursed teddy bears. How convenient that that's our, our code word. Our safe word. And I can't open this up. Who's this woman? Okay. Are, are we supposed to have other people in this simulation? Like I lost her. Okay. Well, we don't need this, this one right now. Close this up. Interact. Insignificant papers. Same thing. All insignificant. But, oh, all this is. But we have more fluid, which is great. A lockpick. Might try to open one of the chests with this. Ooh. Lockpicking mechanics? Skyrim much? Why does it say three question marks? That actually kind of scared me. <laughs> Stupid door. Stupid door. Turn around. I see you. Who are you? Wait, wait, what's... Oh, I... Fuck. I hate Fuck. that. No, I don't like that at all. No, no, no. He's definitely off here. Who's just creeping up in the vents chat? Hello? Why? Wait, who's, who's using the toilet? At this hour? Wait. This was already open before. These are both still closed. Okay, nobody's in here still. There was a box in here we can use, right? Maybe we have to like lockpick this little container right here. Yeah, okay. Slightly rotate the lockpick and try to push the lock on the correct spot. Um. Did I, did I break? 
Oh, I see it lights up. Oh, I see. Look at the bottom. The white circle goes full like this. Then you press space. Got it. Okay. I was like, how, how am I supposed to know, man? That's how it's done. What's this? Find the clue. Oh, can I, can I open it? Patient report. As a result of the examinations, the patient was diagnosed with chronic schizophrenia. This is Kyle Manson, 62 male, patient report. With this current situation, the health board unanimously uh, stated that he lacked the judgment of reality. Is that what kind of game this is? Very selective storytelling, right? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I was kind of lucky and I kind of looked away. By accident. I mean, intentionally. So who who's out here with us? Who's the friend? Uh, hello? Grandma? What was that sound? Grandma! You need to be careful. It's, it's me! It. Or Inspector! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Classic grandma, always ghosting me. Where are you? Did something change? Did another door open? This is flashing down here. Are you kidding me? I must be losing my mind here. Oh, settle down, detective. It's a long walk to the end of the hallway. Let me in. Let me in! Jesus. Okay, end of the hallway. Turn around. What changed? Also closed. Scary red light. What does it say? One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Help? That's not related. Interact. What is this? Are you ready to play? Hold on, we need our, we need our light out. There we go. That's better. It's not better. No, no, it's not better. No, no, no. T take it back. To I just turned on my light. Who's blowing it out, man? What the heck? That's what I'm saying, man. Oliver's on our side over here. Jesus, this place looks like a slaughterhouse. Where are we? Whoa. Okay, my letter's out already. Yep, pills. We have we have pills, drugs, schizophrenia, classic horror trope so far. What else are we gonna get? Wait, what's this? First aid? Why is this insignificant? You think that might be helpful in a situation like this? Just saying. Flickering lights, yes. Yeah, where's the crowbar? Where's the fuses? Batteries. Oh, I know. For like yeah, having fluid for like light sources. I totally agree. I always just like that. Cause I'm I'm I don't want to be stingy, right? I wanna be able to see what I'm doing. All this over here. Here we go. See what we got here. Sleep like industries continues. Help me out. Let's turn this around. Sorry. Four soldier grant. Entire hospital under investigation after shootings. One of the nurses working in the hospital went crazy and caused the death of many babies. Police sealed the hospital after the murders. Police launched an investigation in the hospital. Many people were taken into custody. Sure. Let's take that with us. That's evidence, right? Doors locking behind us. <gasps> Grandma? Okay? Grandma, hi, it's me. God. Your your grandson or inspector. I'll come for cookies. Oh my. Oh smell. Ugh. It's like the room from Saw. But worse. Or goop. Um Do I do I want to look under this? Hello? Can I see your feeties? No? Is there something I'm missing in a box somewhere? I can almost see like a wheelchair out there. Hold on. That didn't help. Um, Kleenex. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Let's put this out. More lock picking. Interact, Password please. Be written down somewhere. Oh, no lock picking. It got really dark in here all of a sudden. Oh, wait, what? Hello? Um, he's turning off my stupid lighter, man. The room changed temporarily. Okay, there has to be a number somewhere. There has to be three digits. Look at this. One, two, six. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. Somebody move. Hello? Hello? Oh, why are you sitting up there? Okay, well, don't mind me. 
just gonna look in this box right here. One, two, six. Easy. Grab the gun. Take a look around. Is there some sort of like signature on it somewhere? There. 81 Wesson Magnum, standard issue police gun. Sure, you talk. Carried by a lot of officers around this area. Explains the 357 bullet I found earlier. I have one of these babies as well. All right, add to inventory. Now let's take a look to our left. Are they gone? They're still sitting up. Surprising. Scary red light. Handprints. Now they're gone. They waited. They waited. Okay. Let's go this way, shall we? It's me. Don't you recognize me? Okay, we, we just blacked out for a little bit. We're wide awake. She just gave us a really good squeeze, you know, a really big hug. What the fuck is going on in this <gasps> fucking simulation? Remember, this is chat. The same place. Keep circling around now. The code word is it's teddy like bear. Goddamn maze. Yeah, don't say. Oliver. Still yep. locked? Locked. Just what I thought. Does it open? Locked. The key must be somewhere around here. Open. This is the storage room. More fluid and a key for the director's office. Thank you for that. Just need to find some gas. Director's office? Chess? Insignificant? Same with all this crap. Nobody gives a crap. What's over here? Court paper. Police Service Commission. When do I interact with this? Shit, this scene is so contaminated. There's police shit everywhere. The paper will only make sense when I find the other missing piece. Sure. Don't care about any of this stuff, right? Dirty ashtray, disgusting. What about this plaque? No, it's pens. Never mind. Ah, a key? Yes. Punishment cell. Why is it called a punishment cell? Why not just sell? Okay, let's go find the... Okay. Let's wait for the game to do its thing. What do you want from me? Oh, this? Ah. Lock pick. It's very, very sensitive. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Hold. Easy. Fluid. Thank you. Anything else? That's that's it. Just flu I mean, we have tons of fluid. <gasps> Teddy bear. We haven't seen like a good teddy bear yet. They've all been sad teddy bears. Is any of these like a secret like switch? Another. I need to find a password. Hmm. Beg? Oh. Is it not beg? Is it not? Is it backwards? Wait, 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 what this? What about this? Hold on, wait, three, what about two, three, seven? Oh yeah, what were the letters? Good question. The letters are B, E, G, <laughs> two, five, seven, two, five, seven, or three, seven, two, three, seven, two. Oh my God, it's three, seven, two. We got a knife, chat. It's kind of a cool looking knife. Can I interact with this? Can I use? Ooh, the fingerprint can reveal the identity of the murderer. I need to find the fingerprint records in the hospital. I can try to match you using the hospital records. Let's do it. I'll find out who you are soon enough. Jump scare when? Where'd we go? Where's the record room? What is this very cursed image? What the crap? This place gives me the chills. That's kind of terrifying to look at. Ugh. Open sesame. Anything good? Find the clue? 
One of these chat is going to have our name on it. Guarantee we're going to have a patient report that has our name, Oliver, whatever his last name is. Um, take a look around. Pathology result of the papillolectinia was determined as a large cell neurondocrine tumor. Is a tumor? Chemotherapy is planned. Okay. That person may or may not be important. Nothing else. Fingerprint evidence. Hold on. Does it match? James Foster. Uh, it doesn't match with this one. No, it doesn't match. Not matter. It doesn't match with this one. Subtitles are wrong there. Um, I can't hey, open this hey, door. Wait, where'd oh. the door go? Oh, <laughs> like how he said it before I even saw. Hey, hey, wait, where'd the door go? He's so, so like bored sounding. <laughs> Interact. I want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Why does his voice sound so off? Like sometimes he, he sounds like he's kind of scared. And other times he's like, it sounds like he's bored walking around. Oh, I see. It's just like a concrete wall behind this door, right? <laughs> Imagine you see this freaking face. Ugh. No, thanks. Can I change the channel? He's running out of gas. Okay, close the lid then. Look at that. Ugh, gross. Creepy. Nice lady. <laughs> Ugh. Gosh. This game is so random, man. It's, it's so like random in terms of like when doors open and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Smash or pass? Smash all of them. All at once. <gasps> I see you. Are you up in the event again? The room has changed. There's a doorway here. Wait, oh, this is, oh, it says look up. Oh, no. What the heck? Okay, that worked. What? Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, come on. Pull yourself together. Very layers of fear. Shit. Shit. This is kind of cool, actually. Oh, teddy bear. Oh, I didn't see this little guy. Look, look, teddy bear. Teddy bear, god damn it. Teddy bear. He's seen better days. It's a really big teddy bear. Okay, little teddy bear is coming at us. Should I avoid said teddy bears? Definitely like a flashing lights warning. Wait, he's getting further and further away. Keep spawning back. Every time I get nice and close. And then it changes. He's gone. And I'm loading. I'm back in the theater room. I've never seen this here before, though. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I think a lot of the scares are like they tr they try, but they kind of just miss the mark a little bit. The problem is it kind of needs to force my camera to look at it because sometimes like if I see there's a, a person coming right out of here and I'm like looking this way and I'm walking like this, where do I need to go? And then the jump scare happens, but I'm not looking at it. It's not effective, right? Like that works as I'm looking at it, but it wasn't really scary. All the way to the end, turn around, door is gone, makes sense. Where the fuck did that door go? There was a door right here. Window's gone, turn around, just keep doing this until something happens, right? Should I look up? Look to the side? Just keep going around. Oh no, where do I go, man? Look down, look up. I'm so confused. Wait, do I turn off my lighter? Turn it back on. Back and forth we go. I don't know. They look, there's a door. There we go. Finally, something happened. Is it like a whiteboard or is it somebody's like painting? Oh, soccer ball. That's messed up. Holy crap. Creepy radio, creepy drawings. Hallway to nothing, hallway to nothing. Let's start with the left side. Let's see where that ball came from. I 
Uh, there's nothing here. I could have swore I just saw something right here for a second, but maybe I'm not making that up. Maybe I just want to see something there. Okay, so where's that soccer ball? It's also a dead end. Okay. I need to turn around here and go back to where I came from, maybe? There's one singular light bulb that's out. This game is very much like back and forth and back and forth. Open the drawers. Let's try the bottom one first. Fluid. Okay. Ah, what's this? A wallet? What do we have here? There you are. Cleveland Psychology Clinic. Don't be late for your appointment, darling. This might be somebody I connect with later on, so better keep this with me. Journal's been updated. Now, do we go down one of these hallways? Well, this one has a light down here, so let's go down here. This makes sense. Yeah, yeah, okay. The closet. Hello? Do I look? Okay, we're back. And who is this? Okay. The hallway has changed. There's now a light down here. That's weird to look Spider's at. What the crap? Guess. Wait, is this a painting? Oh, that messed me up, man. That really got me. This isn't a hallway at all. Nor is this one. None of them are hallways. The hallways are a lie. Does this say murderer? Totally does. There's somebody in the hallway photo now. This one's just blank. They're all just blank. I see you. Hi. Murderer. Watch it like, close in on us. She's got, she's getting closer. Creepy. Oh, don't like that at all. No. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Not creepy at all, man. Ugh. This place is like a damn labyrinth. Creepy art. Ugh. Ugh. Um. Grandma? Grandma? Teddy bear. God damn it. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Hello? Can I? Hello? I guess we don't go this way. That's grandma's room over there, okay? She's busy. Busy. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Can't go in here. Yup, this one's cleared up. I got this strange feeling like I've been here before. That's not a good sign, is it? Don't answer it. Okay, now it's over here. Oh. Just need to find some gas. Murderer. We love our looping hallways. Hi there. Ooh. <laughs> should we should we give her a hug? Is it time for Teddy Bear Chad? That was bizarre. Yeah, so I think Teddy Bear is a lie this whole time. 
Grandma, you're very tall. Ooh. Very flexible too, Granny. My goodness. Someone's been doing their Pilates. Okay, we're back in the hospital. Okay, all empty. What's this? Fingerprint evidence number two. Do we have a match? So Is it you that I'm looking for? No. I don't think so. It is not you. You are not the match. Oh, hello. Okay, this is the end of the hallway. Oh, no, there's still more down there, but there's also this room first. Baby X-ray. This x-ray seems to be belong to a disabled child. I didn't know this hospital also had a pediatrics department. It looks like the doctors here paid really close attention to this patient. I think it would be important for me to figure out who this girl was. That's by the same girl underneath the cloth we saw a few minutes ago, right? So who's she in all this? I understand grandma's character. Like we don't know who she is, but she's been kind of haunting this place. And so is the little girl. I wonder if there's like a connection there somehow. Teddy bear. The little girl's teddy bear. The teddy bear is the little girl's, right? It has to be. Are we the baddie? Maybe. Oh, you think she's the nurse? Ooh, maybe. Oh, we did read an article early on about the nurse who unfortunately did some bad stuff. Trigger warning? Or implied trigger warning? Okay. So I think we're kind of... She's a very, very tall lady. Very, very tall lady. Shit, it's locked. What does it say? Coma Cola? I think I'll be drinking that. I think I'll pass on that one. Okay, can't go in here. There is the opening. All right. I think we're getting the theme of the game, Spider's right? Spider's running out of gas. We're on to you. We're gonna save this baby. It's the last thing I do. Baby, I'm coming for oh, you. Oh, gross. Gross, I didn't expect crawling granny in the vent. Kinda got me. Well done, Grandma. Very flexible and nimble for her age. Uh, patient report number three. Cooper Stellar. Six years of illness. There is one previous hospitalization. Describes frequent recurrent attacks. Okay. Journal updated. Still locked. Does this open now for us? It does. My letter went out. No, no, no. Stop doing that. It's really dark. Are they gone? Oh, I hate this. Can I, um... Sir, can I just get by, please? Can I? I have an appointment. I have somewhere I need to be. Oh, God. Grandma. Turn it down for the tinnitus. Oh, it just scatters away. Okay. I'm I'm terrible. I keep forgetting our safe word. Grandma, it's teddy bear. Ah, shit, it's locked. Ah, shit, it's locked. Oh, this looks like a safe way to go. Green means good, right? Is he 
cold? Watch this guy go into a cold storage. What are these rats? Are cockroaches? I don't know what that is. They're going very fast. They are zooming. Fuel, thank you. What's this? A box. Find the clue. Uh, the nurse's room key. Can I can I take this? Thank you. What's this? They give this badge to people who manage to quit alcohol after a certain period of time. This is a way of celebrating their achievement. I wonder if those medications actually work. <laughs> what? Who was that? Uh, locked. He's so casual. After seeing these, like, ah, uh, locked. Ah, shoot. What is this? It's insignificant, apparently. It's like throw that little shadow person in there. Open. <gasps> Give me the fuel. Nothing in there. Empty. Um, is this room really full of nothing? Action? Really? Uh, this? Evidence? Turn it around. Whose is it? I need to find the information leaflet of this medication. What I'm staring at right now might be a cure for cancer or some sort of virus that brings people back from the dead. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch given the uh, the circumstances that we're kind of in right now. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh my, I missed this. And Bing Pot. Okay, this has to be the right one, right? Has to be. It matches with this one. Yes. But there's no name in the records. Has it been erased? Has it been erased? So we're still, still trying to find out whose fingerprint was on the knife. And I think the gun too, right? Okay, now we can go down here. Yikes. That sound. Little music box somewhere. That's a weird camera move. Medication package in set. These side effects and ingredients are horrific. I am sure this medication was not approved by the government. This should be quite illegal. His voice cut off halfway through for some reason. Okay, so who's this? This is definitely not grandma anymore. What's inside? Or LH. This must have belonged to one of the children here. Unfortunately, it's broken. All right. Maybe that's the little girl's name is LH. L something. Court paper. Oh, here's the other half of that paper from earlier. What does it say? When the police officer Oliver Hamilton arrived at the scene to investigate the incident, it was determined by his teammates that he was under what the influence it? of alcohol and drugs. Is this my name? What is this crap? Is this a joke, Liz? Do you think this is funny? I swear, if this is one big joke, you better tell me right now. After the situation, Oliver Hamilton was dismissed from the police department. That's us. So we had the alcohol slash drug addiction when we investigated a case. So this is all about us, chat. Oh, I don't like this at all. This way it seems safer. It's open, thank goodness. I'm waiting for like one of these like statue things to move on us. Patient report. Oliver Hamilton. What did I say, chat? I said that one of these is gonna be ours in the first like three minutes of the game. And we're supposed to be in a simulation, like reenacting it. So I'm guessing that we are patient at a hospital and this is actually a simulation to like reenact the events that transpired that led us to whatever scene it was, right? Okay, I'll, here we are. Let's read this. He's gonna have a little moment. Huh? <laughs> no, no, this can't be real. It's just a stupid simulation. The patient- I haven't done anything. Are you done, Oliver? 
The patient, Oliver Hamilton, is a former policeman. He is the most dangerous patient ever resorted in facilities. Hospital officials are afraid to go near him. It is really hard to keep him detained under these conditions. He was involved in a multiple victim homicide incident in which his spouse and one or more children were slain. He was found guilty of familicide. After a short stay in our hospital, he will be taken to another center for his punishment. Wow, this guy sucks so hard. We're the baddie chat. Unless the game is trying to make us think that we're the baddie and it's not actually like, I don't know. I feel like we're the baddie. It might be a really bad shutter on it, maybe. It could be. Oh, these freaking photos again. They're so eerie. Uh, exactly oh. what I needed. Ah, oil. the bottle. Irish whiskey, triple distilled. Um, add to inventory. Because our character is an alcoholic. Press E to drink. What if I don't want to? What if I'm giving up the drink? I'm making better life choices. Don't, 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 no, no, I wouldn't. Eat, open the door. The game tricked me. No, stop drinking. <sighs> And now we're all wobbly woozy. I think it's time to go lay down. I think our guy needs a bit of a nap nap. Oh, what? No. Uh, Chat, just a trigger warning, just in case. I don't know where this is going. Well, I have an idea where this is going, but I don't think we're going to see anything. But up, damn baby. I think it's all implied. That's enough. So his subconscious, something, his inner demons are telling him to drink. That's the, that's the voices that we're hearing. I want to get out of this damn place. What are you doing to me? So he's being haunted by his demons. No, stop. Stop drinking. Go back. See, here's the thing that we started this game off knowing that was like the nurse. Lucy L H Lucy Hamilton. It's our daughter's music box. Right? No, no, this can't be real. It's just a stupid simulation. I'm curious to see if this is actually what happened or this is trying to like have the game like mess with them. Do I have to interact with something? Oh, the door's open. Hold on. Very tall lady. No, no, this can't be Lucy. I'm coming, darling. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of here. Something grabbed the child. Like the nurse did. Is this kind of like the movie, um, what's that James Wan film? It starts with an eye. Really, really wish I could sprint right now. I'm coming, darling, don't Insidious. Worry. Am I thinking of Insidious? Wait, wait, lighter? I'm on my way. Let me try to go towards as best as I can in the darkness. I cannot see. Oh, here we go. It's a mannequin. Okay, we're now in the matrix. Oh, come on. What is this like circus crap? Come to me. Sounds like a demon now. I'm not afraid of you. You can't hurt me. Are we in a circus? Walking towards the shadow. I haven't done anything. It says wake up. 
<laughs> oh, come on. No. Shut up, damn baby. Am I just waiting? They're all pointing, saying murderer, yes. I'm not afraid of you. You can't hurt me. I'm trying to fight the camera here. Sim, world's most realistic interbrain simulator. Questing simulation restart. Destined Corporation. Oliver Hamilton, 1998. We have a breaking news, country's one of the most closely watched criminal cases in 2022, against ex-police officer Oliver Hamilton. Today, on June 24, the jury has reached a verdict on the case. After ex-cop Oliver Hamilton was dismissed from the police department for his alcohol addiction, and after his wife committed suicide by jumping in front of a subway train, Hamilton began using illegal experimental drugs and substances. Officer Hamilton, who came to the point of losing his sanity, due to the substance abuse and major depression, is known to have killed his own daughter. What is causing more turmoil amongst the society, has become the involvement of the company Destined to the case. Destined is a company known for the new generation punishment methods they are working on, for murder convicts. Believing that prison sentences are insufficient, it serves a new punishment system. The company advocates to make convicts relive the guilt of their actions countless times, and break their wills against committing any sort of crime. Meanwhile, conservative groups state this practice is unacceptable, and that it would be trying to play God on mankind and says it is not a way to establish justice and peace in society. Groups already started protest against the destined company. More is this our character, Oliver? No, this is the staff who made this? Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the team that made the game. So, it, it, yeah, the whole kind of Black Mirror kind of concept, I kind of, I kind of get what they were going for. I understand. I just kind of wish it was better. <laughs> you know, I kind of, I kind of wish they did it in a different way. It, it is kind of a Black Mirror episode. If you do think about it, though, the whole like reliving like the same. It, it's a cool concept itself of like using that as a punishment to relive the bad things that you did over and over again. It's like your own hell, essentially, right? Instead of like a, a spiritual hell, it's like a quite a, an actual hell in that regard. But I kind of wish that it wasn't so generic. The game and the story itself is a trope, unfortunately. The concept behind the people pulling the strings in the back, I do like that idea. But I wish the, sto the core story itself was a bit more creative. Cool idea all around, but badly done. Yeah, I, I figured that it was, it was a very, very classic tropey indie horror game we've seen this story a thousand times before uh that's been done more effectively right 
but I do like the idea of a, a company corporation behind closed doors that are like pulling the strings and making people relive their horrors. It'd be kind of cool if you had to try and like break out of that. Or what happened is like you're a scientist and you got hooked up to somebody else's memories and cores, and then you that was you're living other people's absolute hells and terrors, right? That'd be kind of a cooler way. I always I'm not really a big fan of games where we're the bad guy. It's I feel like we've done it a lot. We would play like the bad guy who's just you know it's it's hard to root and play for the character when you are the bad guy, and you always you, you know you usually know it like the three quarter mark of the game or so. It's like oh cool. Well, now the last 25% of the game, I know I'm like a shitty person. Like, do I really care to see the ending? It's guys, I don't really care if this guy lives or dies anymore, right?